I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just snap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapons, but my outfit might take the soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off the poles. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. I don't know their names, but they all want to ride all this energy around me. I feel so hey, what's up, guys? Dark Worker here, and for today's video, we are playing against. The jungler of Tribe Gaming, Emperor Duck, a pretty high elo um, jungler and playing on his main champion Shivana. So definitely going to be interesting considering that we are going to play Olaf after the recent nerf in which they nerfed his base damage and base armor but overall I would say the nerf doesn't matter too much considering that Olaf is still very strong and still S tier champion in my opinion. And knowing Emperor, Emperor Duck, he will start red buff, getting a, uh, getting a leash as well. And then I will try to fight him at the scuttle on the Baron side. Because, I mean, almost every Shivana goes for this jungle pathing. When they are second pick, they will start red buff, get a leash and then go straight for the scuttle. We also have deep wards which give us great information. I can see that he just finished his raptors. We also have a deep ward at the blue side so I know when he's going to be at the blue buff. Great information. So we can set up the fight for scuttle. Either way uh, option one we just rush it before him or option B we wait for him to do it. Wait in the bush, I'm pinging for my teammates to come right now. Hopefully they will um, rotate and come. So when he's on the scuttle, we can just collapse onto him. Oh, I'm just going for the scuttle right now. He has level 4, he might try to go for it. I'm going to smite it, I get it. I also splash with my um, true damage onto Shivana, so we get the double kill. So Shivana and the scuttle, so that's pretty good. Uh, already on overextended, he dies. That's kind of unfortunate, but not too bad. We get the first blood. We also managed to deny Shivana some experience by getting the scuttle. Hopefully, I will get this scuttle as well before the Shivana comes. So, oh, oh my God, he's coming! No, I don't have smite. Oh, hopefully, he doesn't come in time. Okay, the others have priority. So, not looking good. I don't have smite. Um, yeah, he gets it before us because um, his teammates came and had priority and that's why he managed to get it. So overall, when it comes to jungling, having priority on the lanes is actually really important. So, yeah. If I got that scuttle, it would have been huge because I would have gotten level five and Shivana would be really, really behind in terms of experience. Let's just reset. Nah, we can't give first dragon. Against Shivana, giving first dragon is going to be really bad. The the thing is, they have Malphite and we have Nasus. So contesting the first dragon might be really hard for us. We have Vayne, we have Nasus. Both of those champions are pretty scaling and weak on the first dragon fight. So I'm actually not sure whether or not we can contest the first dragon but giving first dragon to Shivana especially the cloud dragon isn't the greatest idea um, since it's going to give him a huge boost on the second ability whenever he uses it in the dragon form I have to mention in the dragon form before someone uh, writes it's not always it's just in dragon form but yeah Olaf is definitely still a very strong pick right now just going for the dragon do I, need to sm I have to save my smite And I forgot to switch to Trinket, but I think it's not too bad because now I can just put the ward here. Hopefully he doesn't clear it. No, he clears it. It's Batman. He already clears it. 
Okay, looking like a good fight for us. And let's flash over. He flashes. We don't manage to kill Shivana. But this looks like a good fight into our favor. They have to retreat. I feel like we might be able to go for the dragon quickly. Since Shivana doesn't have flash, I think we should be able to uh, secure this one. And now Ifla e might and we get it. They're still fighting, they're super low. And yeah, I think we should just back off. Like nothing else to do here. We already got the dragon, which is really good because... Oh god. Oh no. Yeah, Jenna was overextended and now we just gave two free kills. Which were definitely unnecessary. Oh, we still got the ward. That's that's pretty good, to be honest. Getting that ward is a bonus, 30 gold. But yeah, we got one kill, we got the dragon, should just retreat. Jenna overstays, dies, Kaisa tries, no, Vayne tries to help and she dies as well. So overall, um, yeah, not too great. Going back, getting Trinity. And for the skill order, it's going to be third ability, second ability, and then first ability, and of course the ultimate whenever you can. Why are we going for the second ability for the increased lifesteal and and attack speed? And that's really good in combination with death dance because it's going to prevent you from from dying too quickly since 30% of the damage is going to be bleeding effect and that gives you more time to heal with your second skill. So second skill, death dance, a lot of life steal healing. So when you're low life you will get a lot of attack speed from your passive and then you will just life steal super quickly. Got that first turret as well, looking pretty good to be fair. Just going for the golems right now and then afterwards I will rotate to my blue buff. Okay, two people bot lane, maybe we can actually let's just get scuttle. Got it. Do we want to go for Herald or do we want to go for our blue buff? Looks like no one is nearby and we can just go for the Herald and if Shivana comes, Shivana's top lane so that's fine. Hopefully they don't die to Shivana. We get Herald. And Aurelion is roaming to the top side. Twisted Fate doesn't have ultimate. I think I can go for him, he doesn't have vision. Ultimate? We just flash over as well and he dies quickly. I'm going to use the Herald right here because um, they already won the top fight, they're all at the top side and we have a wave so in combination with the herald we should be easily able to get the mid turret and we can get some bonus damage onto the second turret but let's see if the blue buff is up, it's not up oh yeah, the dimension we're playing with uh, Gosu Hoon Mobile Legends player and I think he is right now in the top 15 or something in the leaderboard, so pretty high. 15 or 20, something like that. I think he has like 330 points. Yeah, 350. Okay, Dragon is going to spawn in 8 seconds. Shivana still at blue buff. He's backporting, I feel like we can just rush it. Shivana's backporting, hopefully Vayne comes. If Vayne comes quickly, we can just rush it for free. Vayne, just come! Okay, actually, she doesn't need to come because we get it regardless. Shivana is teleporting. Oh, never mind, it's Malfoy. I thought Shivana's backporting and buys quickly TP so she can join the fight, but she didn't do it. Just going for Lulu. Let's go for the Twisted Fate as well. We're just doing tons of damage. Shivana is going to use the ultimate. Ooh, this will be close. 
And E again. We got the double kill. Let's go. Yeah, right now I'm just writing. Um, yeah, just go surrender. Because the game is pretty much lost. And there's no way they can win this game anymore. That's, that's just being honest. Because at this point we got three turrets, two dragons. And basically... Like... If you guys don't know, in Challenger it's typical when the game is pretty much lost that everyone just surrenders so they can move on to the next game and far more LP. And at this stage of the game, the match is pretty much over and is on to our favor. Because we have Narsus late game, Vayne late game, Olaf fed and two dragons. So we are super... Uh, and three, uh, three turrets. Like this game is pretty much over. Unless we are throwing super, super, super hard. But if we are not throwing super, super hard, there's no way for them to come back. Let's run. Run her down. Double kill. Okay, I'm, I'm totally, totally being greedy right here. And we're going for the tier 3 turret. Like, see, that's what I mean. We're just so far ahead. Already getting the tier 3 turret. And let's go for the Shivana. So, 6-0-3 on Olaf right now. And yeah, <laughs> this is just banter between me and Emperor. Because uh, we were matching at the same time. And I was like, okay, <laughs> let's match together, hopefully. But we end up matching against, uh, against each other. So, it's just friendly banter. Friendly banter between me and, and Duck. But anyways, he, he's right, the Narsus had priority on Malphite and I mean he, it was greedy from him to try to contest the Scuttle because he didn't have Smite. His uh, Smite was on cooldown because he used the blue buff. Okay, Hoon, super aggressive, going for the 1 vs 4, 1 vs 5, 1 vs 5 army, let's go. Maybe I can run them down, to be honest. Don't flash over. Please don't flash over. No, she survives. Feels bad, man. Okay, question is, do we go for Dragon? Or do we just go for Nasha? I guess let's go for Dragon first, and then we can just go for National and then end the game. But so far it's looking pretty good for us. But, uh, but yeah, look at the map, they didn't even get one single turret yet. So the game is pretty much in our favor. And you always have to consider the win condition, and our win conditions are late game, actually. We have Narsus late game. We have Vayne late game. We have a fat Olaf. So that's pretty much a GG, in my opinion. Like, there's literally, almost, except if Vayne di just dies randomly there. And I'm going for the Shivana first before I'm going for the Nasha. So she can steal it. She's ultimate. Jump forward. And I guess go for the Malphite. He dies immediately. Let's see if we can chase someone. Let's E onto her, she dies. Slow her, slow her again. And come on! Oh, I can't reach her. It's bad, man. I'm just going to backport and get teleport to join again. Destroyed. 
I mean, we could go for the last turret, but I feel like we're so ahead, it doesn't really matter what we're doing. We're just absolutely mopping the floor with them. And yeah, that's going to be it for the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay against Tribe Duck. And if you guys enjoyed it, then I would appreciate a like. And that's going to be it for the gameplay. Bye-bye.